let's take a look at another kind of hack here. Let's take the blur call out and let's drag it on. And one of the things that uh, just kind of irritates me about the blur is, let's zoom out a little bit, is by default you drag it on and it's this size. Okay, and you got to drag it out, right? And you got to make it cover the screen if, if I want to blur the whole screen. Okay, so let's say that's what I want to do. I want to blur the, my background here. Well, when you do that, you can't just use the snap lines here because you're gonna, it's not gonna really accurately blur the, the edges. So you gotta go beyond, uh, even a decent bit go beyond it. Okay, and now it's properly blurred. Okay, again, a kind of a multi-step process and procedure. So let's try this. I wanna blur this thing. Drag the blur call out to the canvas, take it off to the side, and what the blur call out does is it blurs whatever's in the shape. Now let's move it over here and let's invert that. In other words, let's blur everything but what is in the little box there. Right? So now it's just an easy way to add a blur to the entire thing. And for some stupid reason, while we're talking about blur and things that tick me off in Camtasia, you notice the blur is 100%, right? You, and you can't make this any bigger like you can with font sizes and stuff like that. It, that's all you get. That's as much blur as you can do. Well, I mean, a lot of times I want more blur. So literally the only way to really do that is uh, I'm going to add the blur at 100% and then make sure it's the size and duration that I want. Then let's control C and I'll just copy and paste a few more on top. Okay, and you can make it pretty darn blurry. Let's see, and then generally I guess what I do is probably group those up. But when you do that, if you group them, this is another little bit of weirdness that I've noticed. So we saw that it was pretty darn blurry before. I grouped them up and all of a sudden I don't really have the blur. You also have to, to include in the group whatever image or clip or whatever it is you're blurring. You can't just select all the blur callouts, group them and, and have this cumulative blur effect. Okay, so that's one thing to kind of be aware of. Okay. Uh, those are a couple of tips and tricks. Any other questions on that? Let's press onwards here.